kudos to GSAT and CSEC performers. National hero remembered on his birthday. And Jamaica Anti-Doping Disciplinary Panel hears an appeal. With this week's Jamaica House Weekly, I'm Simone Wolfe. Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller focused her attention last week on primary and secondary students who performed well in their respective examinations. From the outset, I want to congratulate all the students here and across Jamaica who did their grade six achievement test, GSAT, and have now been placed at the various secondary institutions to continue their education. I also use this opportunity to congratulate the older students who are now learning of their respective passes in the CSEC exams and are preparing for their tertiary education. The Prime Minister was speaking Thursday at a prize-giving ceremony for 22 children of staff members of the Office of the Prime Minister and the Cabinet. She used the occasion to encourage the children to continue to strive for excellence. Sometimes the assignment might be difficult. Check mommy and daddy. If they don't know, go to teacher and say, teacher, can you explain to me? Because I'm not understanding. Pay attention to your schoolwork. Parents will give you time for play, time with your friends. But when they say homework time, no. That is important and critical. You are where you are because you paid attention. Mrs. Simpson Miller also reiterated her commitment to ensuring that Jamaica's children are well educated. When I look into their eyes, I'm inspired to work harder to achieve the Jamaican dream of opportunity, prosperity, justice, and peace for all. When I see their eager faces, I am even more determined that we must continue to improve the educational system as a matter of high priority. Prime Minister Simpson Miller was represented by Culture Minister Lisa Hanna as Jamaica celebrated the life and work of national hero Marcus Garvey on his birthday on Sunday. If nothing else, let us reflect on Garvey today and move with deliberate speed to leave nothing to chance in our work, in our personal relationships, in our devotion to God, in our patriotism, in our belief that we are our brothers and our sisters keepers. We must never leave these values to chance. The floral tribute was held at the National Heroes Park. Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller recently expressed condolences to the victims and people of China who were affected by an earthquake on August 3. The 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck China's southwestern province of Yunnan, killing hundreds in its wake. We regret the loss of life injury to more than 1,800 persons and the massive destruction of homes and other infrastructure. The Prime Minister was speaking at the recent opening of Segment 2 of the North-South Highway. And the Jamaica Anti-Doping Appeals Tribunal convened Thursday to hear an appeal by former National Youth Representative Demar Robinson. Robinson was given a one-year ban after testing positive for a steroid at the Jamaica National Junior Trials in 2012. And that's it for this week's edition of Jamaica House Weekly. Join us next time for the latest stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.